the dig we're coming. There are worse things than the dig. Probably true. She will fight much that is strange and powerful. The fight scenes are full on. One of the features of the series is what we call modako or the Māori martial arts. And it's very visually dynamic. In fact, it's brutal. The fighting style is unlike anything I think our audiences will have seen. The energy, it's something else. And I honestly feel when I watch TK and Xavier in their scenes fighting, giving it all, you can feel the energy and the mana of the reality of the fights. And we'll cut there. Back in the day, it would have been intense. A fight is like a dance. There is an art in death. In terms of the style of the martial arts, I think there's actually quite a big range. Different iwi, different tribes will have different styles of the way that they brandish those weapons and even slightly different variations on each of the weapons as well. They're all uh, very specifically Māori weapons. There's tefa tefa and taiaha, which are two of the longer ones. There's mere and patu, uh, two different kinds of short clubs. James Webster, our, our weapons expert, works with uh, stunt choreographers to um, make sure that when those weapons are brandished and the way in which their fight styles happen, they come from ancient schools of uh, Māori martial arts. Every weapon that you see on screen is inspired or created by real examples of things that are still in museums or people's homes today. Plus we've got what goes with that, which is the level of haka and challenge and you know, heightened fighting energy, heightened power. Now we're taking the fighting style and amplified it, I'm laying down the challenges, the beats that exist in between all of the fight beats. Those are things that are very near and dear to us as Māori. You know, I've got a taiaha fight at the edge of the sea, so there's this much water. So when they're running through it, the water splashes up. And you're trying to make that stuff all the time, you know, epic looking shots. Promise me that we'll fix this world. You could die with honour and join us in the afterlife. You're all going to die. Wake up, wake up. Hey, thanks for watching. Staying with horror for the movie The Omen, Damien originally had a different name. Screenwriter David Seltzer planned to name his Antichrist Donlan after the total obnoxious brat of a child of a friend, until his wife convinced him that it would be a horrible thing to do to the kid, and not to mention friendship ending. He landed on the Damien after Father Damien, who started the first leper colony in the Hawaiian Islands. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.